What is up, everybody, and welcome to FLW Videos. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about anything and everything centered around the Pokemon Ditto and Pokemon Go because we have some major updates happening for the month of September, all centered around Ditto. So the first thing, of course, that we have is that the month of September with the research box, it's going to be a guaranteed Ditto, which is awesome. And then there is a chance of getting yourself a shiny Ditto. And I know a lot of people are excited about that. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with a question of the day. Are you officially excited for a research breakthrough Pokemon in Pokemon Go? It honestly feels like such a long time since I've been excited for one. Maybe all the way back to when legendaries used to be in the research box, but we officially have ourselves the chance at getting a shiny ditto so you know i am excited about that but this episode is going to be all focused on ditto and then the next episode that i'm going to upload is focused around the pokemon lugia with the exclusive move aeroblast we'll be doing a deep dive on that so make sure you hit that subscribe button turn notifications on so you can be updated when i end up uploading that but anyways back to ditto so if you do enjoy this episode if it is helpful we'll be covering some tips make sure to turn that like button shiny but without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the video So let's go ahead and dive into this. We've already talked about the fact that Ditto can, in fact, get a shiny variation in the special research breakthrough, but we have a second way of getting ourselves a shiny Ditto, and that has to do with Wild Encounter. So a couple of gaming ended up confirming this, clarifying this. We can get ourselves a Ditto transforming in the wild, and of course, we're going to talk about exactly how that works, and we're going to start with the spawns. Why not? So Ditto can be disguised as the following Pokemon starting September 1st. Some of these Pokemon are very common for me in situations of weather boost such as Gulpin and then also the Pokemon Nummel. Hopefully you're seeing a Pokemon on this list that will be fairly common uh, based on the weather boosting. And speaking of weather boosting, we're gonna address this very soon, but there is a situation out in the wild with Ditto that you can guarantee that the Pokemon that you are trying to encounter is in fact a Ditto. And if you didn't know that, you're gonna learn it today, which is totally cool. But what we're gonna do is get back to this. So September 1st, it can be the following Pokemon. But now we've got a little bit of added complexity to this because Ditto could, of course, be one of these disguised Pokemon, but it also has the opportunity of being a shiny. So we're gonna walk through all of the scenarios of what's gonna happen if you encounter a Pokemon. So down at the bottom, couple of gaming walk through an example. He did end up using a Bidoof. And so what I'm gonna do is actually take out the word Bidoof and we're gonna be using the Pokemon Ghastly as an example because Ghastly will actually end up being a Pokemon that is going to spawn for September 1st and it already has its shiny made available in the game. So let's go ahead and walk through it. So first things first, you encounter yourself a Ghastly and it ends up being a shiny variant. Guess what? Congratulations, you caught yourself a shiny Ghastly. Ghastly, not a ditto. If it pops up, if it can be a shiny and it pops up as a shiny, it is in fact the shiny of the Pokemon that you just encountered. It cannot transform into ditto. That's very important if it shows up as a shiny on the encounter screen. Then we've got the second and third situation, and that has to do with the Pokemon when it ends up spawning as just like a regular form Ghastly. Uh, you end up getting it. It still has a chance to become a ditto though. So shiny ghastly stay shiny ghastly regular ghastly could be regular ghastly or it has a chance at being a ditto and potentially even a shiny ditto so basically what's going to happen down here is if you end up going up against a regular ghastly it could transform into ditto and once it ends up transforming into ditto it's either going to be the regular ditto or you have a chance at it becoming the shiny ditto and that's going to be how you end up getting it so it's going to have to be a regular spawn on the encounter screen to have a chance at getting yourself a ditto or a shiny variant ditto and then for any of those pokemon that don't have its shiny variant made available you just basically skip the first step and it's either going to be the regular pokemon or it's gonna be a ditto that's just regular or potentially a shiny ditto. Those are the only three options that could end up happening. And it's either going to stay the Pokemon or potentially transform. So hopefully that ends up kind of clarifying that and of course providing some clarity. So the last thing that we need to talk about is the weather boost situation of how you can guarantee that the Pokemon that you are encountering is in fact a shiny ditto, or not a shiny ditto, sorry, I'm getting real excited, a ditto. So let's go ahead and cover that. And it has all to do with weather boosting 
So let's go ahead and cover it. We've got the partly cloudy situation where we've got normal and rock type Pokemon. And believe it or not, Ditto can end up being weather boosted for the fact that it is a normal type Pokemon, even though it gets disguised as a different Pokemon. And that's the mismatch is actually how you end up determining this. So we're gonna use the Pokemon Numble as an example. So Numble being a you know a fire type Pokemon, it should be getting weather boosted in sunny and clear weather, right? So let's say that it is sunny weather and Numble should be weather boosted, but it's not. And you're like, wait a minute, it's sunny weather and Numble should be weather boosted, but it isn't? Then guess what, ladies and gentlemen, you have caught yourself a ditto because you found a mismatch in the weather typing and it can also end up being flipped here. So for example, if the weather is normal and uh, rock type, so partly cloudy, that means that Ditto will be weather boosted. And for example, if you run into a Numble that is weather boosted, but is partly cloudy, and you're like, wait a minute, I thought Numble was weather boosted in sunny and clear weather, not in partly cloudy weather. That's because Ditto is weather boosted and it's disguised as a Numble. So whenever there is a mismatch in the weather boosting those are situations that you can actually determine it and technically the only situations where you can determine the ditto and for one final example uh if we have the pokemon uh teddy ursa here then what's gonna be happening because it is a normal type pokemon you have no way of knowing if it is in fact a ditto or not because ditto ends up getting weather boosted under the exact same circumstances but for any other pokemon that has a different type if you see a mismatch in the weather boost, that means that it is in fact a ditto. So hopefully that is helpful. If you've never heard of that before, it is so cool of that to be a concept, but I'm so excited about this. And I definitely want to know what you think about the chance that you could go out there, get yourself a ditto and it being potentially shiny. That is so cool in the special research out in the wild. I would love to know what you think about this in the comment section below. I actually have a special place in my heart for Ditto because it's one of my rarest Pokemon that I have in Pokemon Go because I have a glitch Ditto. It ends up showing up the ability to unlock a secondary charge move. I could potentially use elite TMs on it, do all that sort of thing. It won't actually do it, but it lets me go through the menu because some way, somehow it retained its information as Pidgey once it ended up transforming into ditto so i could search like plus pidgey on it and it will end up showing up which is so cool but i want to know what you think about this in the comment section below let me know how excited you are and of course the last thing we have is a huge shout out to the supporters over at patreon if you want to support the channel you want to connect with other pokemon go players make sure to check out that patreon link in the description below and i will see you next time